Okay, number one. What did you get for your birthday? What did you get for your birthday? Hmm. Ah, it's a little early to have something difficult to think about. Make sure you write this down and pause it to think about the errors. What did you get for your birthday? There should be some errors here you can figure out. I'll tell you this. We have one, two, three errors. Any luck? You might want to check the spelling of this one. And this is from Foundations that we just finished. And there's a problem at the end also. Are you ready? Here it is. What is spelled W-H-A-T? And of course, we know how to spell your. And this is a question. How did you do? OK, wonderful. Hopefully, you have them all correct. OK, <laughs> let's go on to number two. This is a tough one. I don't know why, but I always make number two the hardest one. I got Candyland, a hockey stick, a hockey puck, and a backpack. I got Candyland, a hockey stick, a hockey puck, and a backpack. Hmm. Oh, this one's really going to require some thought. Hmm. Write this sentence down and pause it to think about the mistakes. Okay, well, let's see. I can tell you there are one, two, three, four mistakes in this sentence. Two of them are from foundations, and two of them are related to what we said about proper nouns. Do you remember we talked about streets? And we talked about Bay Avenue and things like that. And we said proper nouns are special nouns. They're not just a person, place, or a thing. They're a special person, place, or a thing. OK, here we go. So Candyland is the name of a specific game. And it's supposed to get capital letters, candy and land, because that's the name of the game. And stick and puck, these are one-syllable words that we talked about in our last Foundations unit. They're one-syllable words with a short vowel right before them. That means they have to end with a CK. All right, how did you do here? Hopefully, you got at least two correct. And if you did, congratulations. <laughs> All right, let's go on to number three. You have a lot of stuff, don't you? You have a lot of stuff, don't you? Oh, this is the this might be the hardest one I've given you yet. Write it down and think about it carefully. Hmm. What is Mr. P doing here? Hmm. I can tell you that it will be very difficult to get all of the answers correct here because there's something new. But let's look at the things that you should know. There's a problem here. There's a problem here at the end. Today's Foundations video will help you figure out what's wrong with this. And then there's one that I haven't taught you yet. OK, here it is. You have a lot of stuff, so 
The first word is capitalized. If we go to the end, this is a question. So we have to use a question mark. OK. And stuff has a bonus letter at the end. You might have learned a little bit about those in first grade, but you're going to learn about them again today. And when we ask this kind of question at the end, like you're tired, aren't you? Or you can play the guitar, can't you? Or you have a lot of stuff, don't you? That's called a tag question. And tag questions always get a comma. Always, always, always. All right, boys and girls, don't worry about that comma. How did you do with the other things? Wonderful. Okay, that's it for today's daily edit. I'm going to clean up some of my stuff and get ready for our next video. Have a great day.